Hi, it's me. I got requested a, to record a story time about what happened with me in my recent MS relapse that I mentioned in my last video but didn't explain, and that sucked. I should have went into more detail. De detail. <sighs> Bear with me, it's a very hot right now and I'm trying to record this. I want to record it, but I can't inside right now because my dad's sleeping and I don't want to wake him up and pain, pain, pain in the... Oh, God. Everybody's outside right now too. Neighbors trying to talk to me. All right, let me get to this. So what happened to me? Well, I actually, the dates, the specific dates are fresh in my mind because I've been applying now for disability through my job. Um, social security disability now so all these dates are very fresh in my mind oh my god it's so hot okay so basically um maybe like the second week of july i started noticing that uh, my legs were like see i've been having problems with the spasticity um for the past uh year couple years and I've been taking medication for it managing it but I noticed my legs were giving me a lot of heck and I didn't know if it was cuz I mean it's been a very hot summer here in New Jersey um, and I didn't know if it was related to that or whatever but basically I needed to go to the doctor my primary care doctor to get a referral to see my neurologist in a few weeks and I had to go for something. Oh yeah, my sister also had to go for some something else. So me and my sister both went to my primary care doctor, which is like a clinic, like an urgent care kind of clinic. And we went and, um, oh yeah, because I was having these MSE problems, I wanted like, um, like it, like a test, like a UTI thing, you know, I mean, sometimes a little infection can cause um, MS symptoms. So they, I don't know, she tested, the doctor tested me for a UTI. And the meanwhile, my walking had gotten so bad. This was, I remember the date, it was the 14th. And it had gotten so bad, my sister had to kind of help me around. And, um, I mean, literally, like, I was kind of using her as a cane and um, leaning on her. I couldn't walk without her, basically. So the primary care doctor was like, hey, you should see your neurologist, like, as soon as possible. And it was the type of thing that I feel like happened very suddenly. I mean, yes, I was having problems. Oh, it's so hot. Anyway, I was having problems, but it wasn't... I don't know it just I feel like it just happened like that day the 14th it was it like hit me like a ton of bricks all of a sudden I could barely walk actually I could barely stand I could barely get out of my sister's car it had gotten that bad that quickly so I called my neurologist's office I was able to see him on the 18th my sister who thank God is hilarious she took me to see my neurologist too on the 18th, which was a Monday. Meanwhile, that weekend, uh, the, I'm talking about the 14th, that was a Thursday. I had work the 15th, 16th, 17th, you know, that whole weekend. I had work on Monday too, I think. And for a lot of that week, because I, I was needed for something. I think somebody was on vacation or something inconvenient like that. So I, I left um, the doctor and I was thinking, I'm not gonna be able to work tomorrow. You know, I work on my feet, it's like busy. So I had to um, call my doctor and say, hey, I can't work tomorrow or the rest of the weekend. <laughs> and I was freaking out. So, because I'm not one to call out, you know, I'd like to be helpful. I, you know, I'm like a, or I was a, like a manager at my job, you know, like I had a key to the store. I was going to be closing the store all weekend. And, um, 
yeah, I had to call them and say, hey, yeah, I can't work this weekend. And I was freaking out. My sister, thank God, she's like, Justine, you need a Xanax. And she gave it to me and right before I called my job and I was like, how long does this take to work? And she's like, oh, like half an hour. And I was like, ah, I can't wait that long. So I don't know, I was like freaking out. So I, uh, <laughs> this is so bad. This, this story time's bringing me back. Okay, this is probably gonna be really shaky. I'm sorry, this is really dumb. It's just there's nowhere convenient for me to record this right now and I need to re record this. Anyway, so I went to um, my neurologist that Monday, the 18th, and my neurologist, he was like, okay, she needs steroids, she needs MRIs, she needs, basically he was like, this is gonna take very long I had to go in a wheelchair. I, by this point, I was basically immobile. I was unable to walk any any distance, really, beyond maybe a few feet, and that few feet, I needed help. So, um, yeah, my neurologist was like, yeah, she's gotta be admitted, like, to the hospital. I had to go to the hospital, and I proceeded to start freaking out. And by the way, that's like in my file or something now because I just had to call my neurologist's office for something else yesterday. And she was like, oh yeah, I have here. You went to the hospital on the 18th. You went kicking and screaming. I was reluctant because it seems like, I don't know, I'm used to doing that kind of stuff outpatient, but he deemed it necessary to go inpatient. And I was like, Ugh. anyway. Plus, I was panicking about food, because you guys know I um, I don't eat meat or dairy or, you know, I'm vegan now. So I was, like, freaking out. Like, but I'm going to go to this hospital. They're going to give me, like, pancakes and chicken fingers. And I started crying in the neurologist's office. So I was like, what am I going to eat? And, <laughs> and my neurologist was like, don't worry. They have really good food there. And I didn't believe him. I thought, yeah, it's probably really good if you eat, like, cheeseburgers. Anyway, I got I got this big bowl of pasta with me right now, by the way. Ooh. So if I'm like distracting and eating my pasta right now, forgive me. Anywho, so I went to the hospital. He thought it was gonna be a he wanted me to go be admitted through the emergency room. So I go to the emergency room and I was there pretty much all day. Well, first of all, in between, like we went to we went to see my neurologist, then we knew I had to go to the hospital, but I was like, uh, can we go to Taco Bell? <laughs> but it wasn't just because I was hungry, it was also because I knew I was going to be hungry and who knew how long I was gonna be in the ER for. You guys know how ERs are. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's different where you live, but around here, you go to the ER, you're gonna, it depends on when you're going or how busy it is, but you're probably gonna be sitting there a very long time. So, my neurologist said, all right, I'm letting neurology know to expect you. So, and we paused, we came back to the house so I could pack. Um, I had just gotten new underwear, I wanted to make sure I brought and we went to Taco Bell, fat, oof, I got, see, Taco Bell, let me sidetrack here, Taco Bell is very easy for me to eat what I want, you know, I, I get like bean burritos, just beans, no meat, no cheese, no, you know, I can make a vegan with guacamole and lettuce and tomato and I make myself hungry. Anyway so fat we went to Taco Bell I had burritos in my purse that I was eating the whole time whatever anyway so we're sitting in friggin the emergency room forever waiting for um neurology to come see me and finally neurology comes and it was while my sister was trying to walk me to the bathroom mind you I, I can still barely anything I couldn't even 
I really needed to lean on my sister. I mean, I could not walk. So neurology comes and they see us, me, limping. And of course, okay, so there's the one neurologist attending and then there's the, uh, you know, it's like a teaching hospital. So there was a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, intern. And of course he was like, McDreamy, like I'm talking, oh my god, this guy's like Grey's Anatomy, and then he's, oh my god. It was so bad because it was so good, and I was like, what? this is like the best looking guy I've ever seen, literally. And he's like giving me an exam, like touching my legs and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, this is, this, wow, this is, I, I don't know, I couldn't, that was, ooh. And then what what made it bad was actually the whole time I was there, which was three day. I had a three day course of uh, steroids, solumedrol, and while I was there, he saw me the whole time. I mean, like he would come with neurology. I basically saw him every day I was there. He would wave to me if he saw me down the hall, and it was like, oh my god. I, I'm glad I didn't get his name or anything because I would have cyber stalked him so hard by now <laughs> Best looking guy I've ever met. Seriously. I couldn't believe it. I actually still think about him I'm like, Ooh, I wonder what McDreamy's doing. I wonder what rotation he's on now Another one of the interns I really clicked with because she was she was just cool because she um was like me and that she used to run but she can't run anymore for she doesn't have MS but for I think she had an injury that she never recovered from so I was able to connect with her because I was like okay because she wanted like a history like how long has this been going on and I said well you used to you run you're a runner so let me tell you about the problems I was having running that nobody else understands you know when I was when I was into running I got myself to a point where I could I was running for a few miles at a time several times a week I was clocking probably like 12 or 15 miles a week and I remember usually what happened about 20 30 40 minutes into the run depending on the day or the run I would start kind of tripping over my left foot and it was odd and that was always what stopped me it was never like I was running out of breath or I was tired or my legs hurt not to say that those things never happened but always what ended up stopping my run was I would start tripping over my left foot so I, I said to her I think you're the only one that can understand me here because everybody else any other doctor can't get past Wow you could you you run for 20 minutes like it just and then it lets you know it never goes past that so i was able to connect with her and she got what i was saying and she said okay yeah i understand because it's not a typical running thing like tripping over i don't know that's usually not what happens usually people stop, need to stop running because they're just you know they're in pain or they're out of breath or whatever that was never my deal anyway um I, I don't know what else to say other than I mean and now I'm I got out of the hospital on the 21st and or I was there four days I guess counting the entire day I spent in the ER and now I'm like going to now I have physical therapists and stuff coming here and I'm still not working and which sucks because now at this point I haven't worked for a month pretty much so I have no money and all these things that I, take forever like even like the the state temporary disability that I've been paying into takes forever I have no idea what's going on with that social security disability I mean it's for I mean all these things I should qualify for I should receive because they're, they're just determining, I guess, I don't know. I, I mean, it's, I, I'm just poor and broke and not anything, waiting for the government at this point. And it's really frustrating. And that's my story time.
I don't know what else to say. This pasta is really good. Thank you for listening to my, uh, ooh, if you guys could see this McDreamy that I'm talking about. He had eyes like you, like the bluest eyes ever. And there was, there was somebody, there was this guy that he, I thought he had the bluest eyes ever. And actually remembering his eyes was a part of why it took me so long to get over him. But this guy's eyes were bluer and they were, I don't know, just very, very, very good looking guy. And I can't, um, that was the, that was the hardest part was not hard, but it's like, I knew I was going to see him pretty much every day I was in the hospital. So every day I would be like trying, I don't know, you know, you know how you like fluff up when you're about to see a guy you like a little bit, you know, you're like. I don't know, like you try to look cute, I, I can't explain, I don't know, girls understand what I'm talking about, like you try to, you know, I didn't have mascara or anything with me, but I just tried to, you know, so, ooh, hot guy, <sighs> man, I'm glad I do not know, if I knew his name, I'd be looking at his Facebook profile right now, trying to work up the courage to add him, because he's just so good looking. Oh, he was just so good looking. I'm sorry. All right. Did I get to everything? I think I got to everything. If I'm forgetting anything, I don't know. I'll be answering comments. So thank you for following along with this long story time. And I'll be back. Bye.